All right, ladies and gentlemen, Christopher Green. This is AMTV hard-hitting and in-your-face news. Please like and share this video. I believe we're going to have a significant escalation in Ukraine in the coming days. Get ready and be prepared. There was an article that came out earlier today. It's major headline news across the BBC, CNBC, CNN, Fox News, MSNBC. Think critically through this information, ladies and gentlemen. Decide for yourself. But Reuters earlier today, and in addition to Reuters, all of these other media outlets are warning of a quote-unquote dirty B-O-M-B going off in Ukraine. Now, this could lead to a full-scale theater war in the region. Of course, we've been worried. Many politicians, diplomats have been worried of a nuclear event in this part of the world. Now, what's interesting about it is both sides, both Russia and also the West, United States, Zelensky, which is basically the proxy for the United States, fighting the war through the proxy that's Russia and China, because really the, the people at war, ladies and gentlemen, are China and the United States. That's what's really going on here. It's not a small scale war. This is a full blown World War III geopolitical event occurring now, but both sides are blaming the other. Ukraine is saying that Russia is gonna do this. Russia is saying to the UN that Ukraine is gonna do this. Well, who even cares? The big question in the elephant in the room should be, if this goes down, this will be catastrophic and it will send the United States of America into a full-on conflict with China. We've seen a huge shakeup in China after the meeting of Congress and XIZ and the old leader of China who was sit away. Remember we saw that on camera? Z is holding the papers down and basically reshuffled the government and China. I mean, something big is building. We can all feel it, ladies and gentlemen. We all know what is coming. And of course, a dam has been in focus in Ukraine as well, because this holds more water from what I understand. Correct me if I'm wrong, than the Great Lake of Salt Lake. This will flood key areas in Ukraine and absolutely devastate the region. So this is Worst case scenarios, it is a worst case buildup. And I'm looking at this article, it says wrap up 10 from Reuters. Russia brings Ukraine, quote, dirty BOMB claim to the United Nations as the West is rejecting it as false. So it doesn't matter what you believe or re really even where the truth lies here. And I'm sure you can think about this and decide for yourself. You probably know my opinion here because I look at it as propaganda. However, what matters is if this event actually happens and it triggers NATO and Article 5, which will send us into a full-blown conflict. Again, ladies and gentlemen, they need some kind of scapegoat here. We have runaway inflation. Treasury Secretary Janet Yellen is worrying of worst-case scenarios, warning of this in the Treasury market. We've got extreme volatility. They're hiking rates. The central bank is hiking rates into an economic storm, into a financial collapse into arguably a Great Depression. So as we lead up into the midterms, as we see more testimony regarding a lot of Trump's pals, in fact, uh, in the news today was a fellow billionaire, and the article was kind of interesting, was talking about how Saudi Arabia, Qatar, and the United Arab Emirates actually aren't U.S. allies. Yeah, but they've been saying that they were our allies for years. Politicians in the United States have been saying those countries and OPEC's are ally as they slap Joe Biden in the face and cut two million worth of barrels a day, which is only going to inflate prices and not create stability for the oil market. So notice how they're shifting these narratives now that it's not convenient and they're going with a new one is the whole system breaks down. And I believe this is by design. Also in the news, ladies and gentlemen, we had an article, former CEO Eric Schmidt of Google, who I've actually met in person, spoken with a few times, who's also put in place as the Defense Innovation Board in charge of AI and artificial intelligence, has warned how AI wars, think about this in context, but what's going on, been going on over the last couple of years, think about it in context of the mainstream media controlling people's minds, thoughts, these kinds of things, which is actually the new warfare being fought, had been behind closed doors. They were saying that it's an ethical question, investing in the seed startup companies this is a guy worth over $20 billion that he's advising on to the U.S. government through the Defense Innovation Board on AI warfare and all these new technologies as he actually owns the seedling companies that he's investing in behind the scenes. Like again, guys, we saw this over the last couple of years where congressmen and women and key figures in Washington, D.C. were selling stocks right before everything got shut down. 
So again, the corruption is running really thick and really high. Also, Elon Musk, who originally had a day of demonstration for his new brain chip, the Neuralink, which they implant in people's heads. In fact, another article came out earlier today. There's a guy, I think, in Great Britain that put a microchip in his hand. Again, they warn us about this mark of the beast, ladies and gentlemen, in the Holy Bible. Please read the book of Revelation. Had moved his showcase date of the Neuralink chip, chip itself, which he's experimented on monkeys that have died. Uh, I mean, bringing in a lot of ethical questions there. And exposed rats and pigs to... So I guess that's the same category human beings are, rats and pigs. It was originally on the very occult day, October 31st of Halloween. Notice I don't think that was by accident, but has now been postponed to November, what is it, 30th or 31st, I think it was. So this is a very, very tumultuous time. I also want to touch on the Hawaiian Islands. I'm in Maui, not on the Big Island. The Big Island of Hawaii, okay? It's Mauna Loa Volcano, which has not erupted in 40 years. Okay, showing signs of life right now. It's in the, I think, the yellow zone. If it goes orange, that means evacuate. Of course, we had, and we do have a lot of activity on the Big Island. My dad's actually seen it years ago. The last time there was an eruption, I think it was Kilauea that had erupted at the time. Now it is Mauna Loa, which is the largest volcano in the world. It's showing seismic activity. So I also have my eyes on that. Another reason to be prepared, ladies and gentlemen, always be prepared. But probably what I'm most concerned about right now are not necessarily natural events, although it seems like we're getting a lot of godly natural events with Florida. And uh, we have an admission now from the White House that they're controlling and manipulating the weather. We saw a report from the White House on CNBC.com that I reported on that went viral on that is really the Ukraine focus. Because again, perfect timing, perfect scapegoat for economic financial collapse. This is everything governments around the world are going to need for, I believe, predetermined events and more control and ultimately the World War III event that will help them to pursue the reset that they've been warning about and also telling us that they're going to do. So again, this is high-level propaganda. They tell you what's going to happen. At dirty BOMB, nuclear war, nuclear events, nukes, they keep beating it into your head so you accept the inevitability of what is actually going to happen. And then just like the weather, Oh, 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 no, we have been doing that over the years. Didn't we tell you we'd already been doing that? Of course we've been doing that. We've always been manipulating the weather and spraying aerosols into it and all these kinds of things, putting chemicals into the sky. Of course we were doing that to block out the sun. That wasn't a conspiracy. That's just what we've been doing. So again, they repeat this stuff. They parrot this stuff over and over so you get used to it. It doesn't matter who's to blame, ladies and gentlemen. This is going to affect all your lives. As I've been warning, you've got to take concrete steps today. Get out of the banks understand inflation isn't going to stop. The central bank has no move here but to reset the system. Everything is moving into blockchain, CBDCs, all of these new technologies. Get ready, get out of the banks, join Island Project today. It's Island Project. I've got the club and also islandproject.com. Get into that private placement as well. We've got to build our new inroads for freedom, ladies and gentlemen. This is real cash flows, real ownerships outside of the system, real Americana, real freedom, a real liberty network. You own the shares. You own the units. To learn more about that, links below. You can only talk to me, my team, my father. And if you're ever in doubt, click the links below. Those are where all the official contact points are. Islandprojectclub.com. Join today. Hope you liked my video I put out earlier today. I thought it was really great, thought-provoking, inspirational, Get you focused on solutions, again, in a very dangerous world. Watch that video if you haven't seen it because these are dangerous times, just like the Great Depression in the 1930s, just like World War II, and now World War III, soon to be erupting, not just a potential volcano, but global conflict in Ukraine that could see a dam possibly go down and or now what they're worrying about a radiological event in the event of a quote unquote according to Reuters dirty BOMB share this video ladies and gentlemen make it viral ladies and gentlemen get it out and thousand x yourself in preparations now at the links below God bless you Jesus Christ is king and share this video everywhere